So from Gangetic Plains, let's go to the desert of Western Rajasthan. Western Rajasthan has four primary districts. Jodhpur, Barmer, Jaisalmer, Bikaner. If 20 days of rain happens in a year, it's big thing in Rajasthan. Why do you go to Rajasthan? To see the desert, right? The dunes. Isn't it? But what does dunes mean to the local life? How do you wash your plate? With water, right? How does how do they wash their plates? With sand. It's easy to read. It's easy to see film. It's not that easy when they give you the plate and you eat. You will think thrice. You will think, I am a Brahmin, I, should I, I am a Hindu, should I, I am a blah, blah, blah. How many people know that Muslims in Rajasthan don't take beef? No, no, nothing to do with the current government, no. They never. Why? Again, the weather and cow is very important for them. Milk, butter, everything. That's India. The beauty of our country is our diversity. So, of course, the music of Bengal, when you are not Bengal, the music is different. Baul, it's a philosophy, completely different type of music. Again, now we are in Rajasthan. Have you heard caste? The word, have you heard the word caste? I'm sure you have done, right? We, India is famous for the caste. Have you heard the term caste musician? No. The two caste musicians of Rajasthan, the only people is Langa and Manganya. They are caste musicians. That means they do only music. They know only music. It is the only capability they have. What a poor persons must be, is it? Or are they great? How do they survive? Only music. Then who patronized them? So Jajman is the word in Hindi. Means patron. It was patron based. Remember Tansen, the court musician? So it was not only landlords or the kings like Maurya, Chandragupta Maurya. No. Everybody had their musician. Like you have cook, like you have driver, maid servant, you also have a musician. And if you are a Rajput, the musician is called Mangniyar. If you are a Sindhi Muslim, your musician is called Langa. So Langas and musicians have the same desert music and it is probably the only folk music of India where it is rag based. So Raga based. Raga in classical time based, right? Here also it is time based. Like 4 o'clock Birvas and middle of the night 12 o'clock is Sarang. But the point is, it is not only time based, it is also direction based. East is Dhani, West is Maru, Maru is North. So like this way. So East, West, South, North as well as Upar, Sarang and the Art, Gun Malha. So these six are the main Ragas of Rajasthan and then the time. So imagine such a huge repository of traditional music is in Rajasthan with these caste musicians, Langas and Manganiyas. Langas live in Jodhpur, Falodi. Jodhpur district, Falodi is the region and the musicians are here from Bap, Didariyar in Falodi. So they are Langa musicians of the desert. And Langas also you get in Barnoa Jagir, that's in Barmer, and 250 plus musicians in their place. Mangniyars live mostly in Cheshalmir and in Shriyotesil in Barmer. So now we have Kasam Khan Langa and his team from Bap, Falodi, Jodhpur.
Kasam Khan Langa is a gentleman there and he played an instrument which is called Kartal. Kartal is a pair of Sesha moods and Kartal is actually a completely Rajasthani instrument and it was discovered, made, first started by a gentleman called late Sadiq Khan and Sadiq Khan from Jaflikala village in Shio uh, 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 in Barmer and that's Kasam Khan he played that. The gentleman next to Kasam who sang the number and uh, he is Rafiq. Rafiq's father is Sh Shafi, is a very well known musician of Falodi. And this is our the transmission. What difference that we brought there? There, the training used to be only in the family. And now, the village, the area, everybody is training the juniors. Because why it should be only family? So it's moving beyond family and taking village or location as a space of that. 
So, because otherwise, we work with about 1,500 musicians in desert. And when I'm saying musicians, because that's, as I mentioned, about 11,000 are musicians within the 70,000 plus. So, other handicrafts, visual arts. But do you all agree that it's a skill? And it's a good skill? And their performance, you are liking it? And it's not boring at all? Good. So that means this attempt is coming up. And you know, when the skill goes up, economic theory says skill, text, it re generates resource and then sharing it. Karl Marx, I mean, please don't think, I have nothing to do with Marxist or anything, but he is big an economist. Uh, uh, Karl Marx said cultural labor. Is it only labor? No. It is also bringing pride and recognition. So when we say labor, there is a huge difference between the labor and the cultural labor. That's why we defy with Marx. And we say, come on, this is also, if today's age, if you would have seen, he would have added that. Maybe from Western part, he has defined that. But here, but when you go by the economic theories, labor, capital, and land. So here, labor is the human being. What is the capital? It is the human capital, the intellectual capital. So when these two come together, it is pride. And that pride and recognition is more important than the economics, than the financial gains, and both together is bringing the social values up. And that is the theory we are working on. Thank you. Next.